Welcome to another wacky lesson in guitar land. Today we're going to talk a little bit about basic uh, blues playing. And if you talk to almost any good lead guitar player, read any of their interviews, you'll find that when they ask them what their um, influences were, it's almost always the old blues players. So it's good to know how to do that, especially if you want to play with other people or be a big hit at a party. So we're going to take a look at today just the really beginning basics of that, playing it in blues in the key of E minor, which is probably the most used blues key because it's easy to um, move around on a guitar players like that. And it's nice because if you're a beginning player, you can play in that key with almost one or two fingers and get away with it. So first today we're going to take a look at how to actually play a basic blues rhythm and then in other videos we'll probably uh, make it a little more fancy schmancy. But today we're going to just start with the basics. So the first thing we're going to do is work on the chords. So the, the first chord that we're going to start out with is going to be an E chord and we're going to do it in a, a blues way, sort of like an open power chord shape that rock and rollers use too. So the good thing about this is you'll be able to play a song like Back in Black or uh, Rowdy Rock Songs <laughs> with these same uh, chord shapes. So what we're going to do is we're going to use just our first finger. Remember, finger number one, finger number two, finger number three, finger number four, the slacker thumb, not a number. Okay, so we're going to use finger number one and we're going to put it on the guitar neck on the second fret and we're going to press down the fifth string. Remember this is sixth string up here, first string down here. So we're going to press down the fifth string and the fourth string with our first finger and we're only going to play the open number six string, the E string here, and the fifth string and the fourth string. And part of the whole blues thing is it almost sounds, it should sound like a heartbeat when you're playing it as far as the rhythm. And so let me play a little bit of that just so you'll hear what that sounds like before we go to the next chord. So it's going to sound like... So it's going to have that feel. And I'll explain the rhythm later. Okay, but that's, that's what we're going for. So remember you only want to hit string number six, string number five, and string number four. Look, it's the other hand. Hello. Uh, when you're playing them. Okay? So then the next chord that we're going to play is an A chord. And it's going to look exactly like that, but we're going to move our fingers um, down one. So this time we're going to play the open fifth string, which is this guy here. Not the top string. Do not hit that. Fifth string. Then we're going to press our first finger down. You know, so I'm flattening it out. This time we're going to press down on the fourth string and the third string and just flattening that out. It doesn't matter if your fingers are on the uh, lower strings and it makes them go dead. That's actually better because you're not playing those anyway. And you're less likely of getting unsightly noise that way too. So this time, like I say, we're going to play the fifth string, fourth string, third string. And it'll be the same kind of heartbeat thing that I'll explain later. Okay, and in this particular uh, version, we're also going to be using a B chord. In this case, we're going to use a B7 chord. Even though it's a little weird to get to at first, it's easier than the alternative that we'd have to use if we were being fancy schmancy. So basically, we're going to use all of our fingers, which is a little bit scary, but it sounds really cool too. So we're going to take start out with our first finger, and we're going to put it on the first string on the second fret. And basically with our other, with our um, third finger and our second finger, we're going to skip a string each time and put our fingers down on that second fret too. So we have our little finger on the first string. We're going to take our third finger and put it on the third string. Our second finger is going to go on the fifth string. So we're skipping every other string. And then we're going to take our first finger and we're going to put it down on the fourth string on the first fret. So it's kind of creating a triangle with these three strings. And it's going to sound like this. The seven chords are sort of in the chord world, in the chord family, that would be the 
cousin that's the life of the party chord. And uh, seven chords show up a lot in blues music, and that's always the the zippy chord right before the with the uh, that sort of makes it, it everything builds to that. Okay, so we're playing that guy. When we're playing this in this particular version, we're just going to bang down on the strings like that. Where it would be one, two, three, <laughs> one, two, three. One. So that's what it'll sound like. So those are the only three chords we're going to do. And uh, now we'll back the camera up a little bit and let you um, see what it looks like with the rhythm, too. And we'll talk about how to produce a rhythm. Okay? So we're going to start back with our finger on the E chord again. Remember, that's the one that we're playing on the 6th, 5th, and 4th string. And with your uh, right hand, what you want to do is you want to think of a, a heartbeat. Eventually we'll do palm muting, uh, but for right now we're not going to do that. So the feel that you want would be sort of boom, 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 boom. So you notice you're hitting two of those at one time. So first it starts with one, and then basically you're hitting it two times, and then you're using the back of your palm back here to stop the uh, strings so that you get that sort of plodding kind of sound. And with most blues, you want it to have that sort of slow, methodical thing. You want it to be a resting heart rate as opposed to someone who's just finished running a marathon uphill. So <laughs> Okay, so that's the rhythm that we want. So let's try that together one, on the E chord. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're going to switch over to the A chord. Let's try it on the A chord. One, two, three, four. So that's what it's like on the A chord. When we get to the B7 chord, you want to, that's kind of in a, it has a triplet feel, so you're kind of going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then eventually we'd switch back over the A chord and do the same thing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then back to the plotting E chord. So those are the basic pieces of it, and then uh, what we'll do is on our next video, we'll talk about how to actually put to get that together to play 12-bar blues. So now you've got the basic rhythm, and where to put your fingers, and then we'll make it go in the next video. So make sure you watch that one too. Okay, see you next lesson.